Still stuck at one percent. Come on, factor. Come on, load, you, you fucking, fucking old oh, ass game. Come on. What's going on, guys? Graham Cracker Gaming here, back with another video, and we are back on Art Factor Two. Actually, I'm on Art Factor Two. I don't think I ever did a video on Art Factor Two. I don't think. But anyways, as you can see, we're on Art Factor Two and at the Daytona International Speedway because this weekend is coming up. Uh, whenever this video is record, when this video goes up, is go is the Rolex 24 at Daytona, the 24 hour race that happens every January, and holy cow, <laughs> there is a lot of good stuff coming from it. I've been I've been hearing, or I've been uh, paying attention closely to the stuff going on for this year's for the 2021 24 hours of Daytona, and it's quite interesting. We got. Uh, there's a lot of things going on in DPI, a whole lot of LP2 cars since, in a while I guess, uh, some interesting stuff in GT, GTLM, there is some work that needs to be done, some, and then nothing usual for GT, GTD, or GT3, whichever one you prefer, since that's what GTLM and GT3 are, are just GTE cars and GT3 cars. Uh, GTLM being GT and GTD being GT3. Anyway, <laughs> but with that is the addition of a new class, which is the LMP3 class cars. Um, let me break down to the whole Lamont prototype categories for you. LMP1, the top category LMP LMP class, which which is all production base. All manufacturer base as well as privateer teams such as Toyota, Audi, and Porsche, which Toyota and well, I I would say the hypercar stuff, but MP1 has been around since the early 2000s, probably even late, earlier than that, but say but they've been around for quite a while. Uh, started as MP900. And worked it and worked it into just one on prototype one, and like I said, it's all been been most well, is the one class that features the top manufacturers. Like it, like I said, out Audi, Porsche, and Toyota, as well as some other teams, as well as privateer teams like Rebellion running a Orca, Gibson, and Janetta. And then it, and then there's LP two, which Unlike LMP1 is all uh, same cars, strict. There's all fixed or fixed car or car designs, I guess. So, for example, it's um, all the same engines, all the same transmissions, 
but it's different chassis. So you have the Orca chassis, Orca 07, the Ligier, the Delara, which is which both the Ligier and the Delara are in this year's 25 Daytona. And all of them running a 4.2 liter Gibson V8. And and we also have the LMP3 class, which uh, which is uh, pretty, pretty much the same as LMP2. Just the difference is they're smaller, uh, less aerodynamic, and something I forget forgot to mention with the LMP2 cars. LMP2 cars have um, traction control to them. No ABS, just traction control. It's the only electronics they got. LMP3 has nothing, they just are on uh, horsepower and aerodynamics, that's it. They probably do the same times as a GTLM card, or a GT, whichever one. And <clears throat> LMP3 cars usually only race, LMP3 cars mostly race in uh, the European Le Mans series and Asian Le Mans series with the LMP2 class and GTE and GT3 class. GT3 I think is more in um, in Asian Le, Asian Le Mans I think. I'll have to look that up in it. But other than that, the only time P3 run is in IMSA's prototype challenge class. Uh, one of the series to work its way up. LMP3 is basically a is remnants of the old Le Mans prototype challenge class that ran in like from like 2009 to 2015 2016 actually after that 20, uh, 2015 actually after that it just became just pro LMP3 and just prototype challenge on its own or just prototype or just LMP3 <laughs> I don't know um and P3, P3 class is basically just people who are just for, it's mainly for drivers working their way up through the prototype class. I think some prototype drivers that race for other teams in LP2 and LP1 race in LP3. I'm not entirely sure. I have to look that up as well. But anyway, <laughs> but enough of me yapping. So this weekend, Point of Daytona, LP3 is making their debut in the series, which. It's kind of mixed feeling with it. GTLM at the current in its current state needs some work, definitely. <laughs> um, it's good to have it one portion of it with privateer team as well as uh, the. It's not Scuderia for Ferrari, is it? It might not be. I have to. <laughs> I got to look that up. But as well as a Ferrari in that, and then we have the BMW. BMW is confirmed and not. They'll only be running endurance races, so that kind of kills it. So hopefully um, this year or next year or so, whichever one, they will uh, fix the or kind of do something with GTLM. I'm having a feeling it's going to be a pro am type deal. Is what they're going to change it to, but who knows? But anyways, but as you can see, we're on our factory two with the at Daytona, and we're going to be running. A LP3 car at Daytona. So I know it's kind of hard to see, but we're going to be running this car right here, the number tw number 21, which is the MedTech a MedTech Motorsports car, I think. I'm pretty sure this is an esports car because the LP3 cars were were added later on in our factor two as DLC. I think after the whole pandemic stuff for uh, sim sim races and sh and stuff like that. <clears throat> but we're gonna be on the these number twenty one uh NetTech Motorsports uh Norma M thirty Norma M thirty LP three car at Daytona against the DPI Daytona Prototype Internationals uh LMP two GTLN and GT three DGT whichever one you prefer at Daytona and see how it goes. I also have the time setup for 50s and a 20 minute, 24 minute race so yeah <laughs> so it's gonna be interesting we're gonna get the full 24 hours of Daytona effect so anyway let's just get into it nothing happened 
So anyway, here we are, I'm about to get it going. I had this new dog. Flag, green flag. Go, go, go. Okay, AI a little dumb on this one. This, this, this is a mod, basically. I, I found out Workshop, Steam Workshop for this. So, okay. Just gonna run a little wide and avoid that. My main objective for this is just to. So I should have mentioned before, I said, I said earlier, uh, I was been keeping track of, uh, oh, geez, that was getting swollen up there. I've been keeping, I've been keeping track of the uh, stuff that's going on in the, in the during testing the Earth Floor 24. Don't you stick your nose in there, please. I think LP3s might have a slight advantage on the GT cars uh, through downforce. I just have to wait and see how that goes. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Oh, yeah, I forgot to turn my uh, full course nose off. <laughs> Big Wayne. So we only go to the top speed of 168 miles an hour. That's cool. Uh, if I have to turn those off, I guess we'll do what they guess. Oops. Chance to get to keep the tires all warmed up. What the fuck? Okay, it'll just come with dead stop, I guess. So I really don't even have damage from that. enough uh, artifact to choose more of uh, its AI, but I'm pretty sure it's a little wonky. Okay, 
Don't it started stopping all of a sudden. Thank you. Okay. Warning, driving way too slow. I'm amazed how I don't want to hit these guys. Two car behind me, okay. <laughs> Make for a nice little thumbnail for it with it going by. Okay. Well, not bad, not bad. I'm definitely not gonna be able to keep up with you guys. I gotta work on my car a bit. So not really much that could be happening, I guess, I don't know. So I do the best I can. The top, the car is top out at like 160. There we go. Uh, I guess my best bet is going to be on the road course section. Uh, I can't break a little bit later than that, come on. Or inside the side of the show on their uh, YouTube channel anytime soon. But uh, I have to see how LP3s and GT LN cars next day each other during that race. So, you know, it was the first time, uh, uh, it was the first qualifying race they ever had in IMSA for at Daytona for the 24 hours of the Daytona race. Which I kind of feel like is just copying NASCAR a bit. 
Wow. Oh, that's for sure. I think Chase Elliott might be a little bit of a better little course than we got. I think we all think. And, but I guess time will tell with that. I'm just I'm focusing more on driving now than trying to talk. Uh, I can't just smack in the freaking track. It's not good. The lap was a 148.35. Alright, set it back up a little bit. Yeah, cars didn't jack so much in the banking to my corners. Turn my lap time at least. Why did I say corners? Yeah, it's obviously gonna turn my corners, obviously, I'm banking. Just wait to get that by really quick. <laughs> That's all I can say. I don't think we'll be able to get into that track, I don't think. We might have some DBI cars go by, go by us, but I'm not sure. As it sounds like there's no other way to catch the <laughs> Catch the leaders that are up there. Just try to shift him back. I think I had an extra gear. The lap was a 148.07. Oh god, I'm breaking myself. What am I doing? You're breaking the slows down. Yeah, I'm like not far away from GT on cars as well as the uh, P3 prototypes. We missed the lap too, but it's a, it's a lot. <laughs> the lap was a 147.79. Right. I was checking the times earlier of the other P3 cars. They're doing like 144, so I'm like way slower than that. So, mostly because my car is in the track. So, so sadly, won't be much action this video. Well, just me fucking up, let's just say that. Okay, let's get some short shifts going. I really 
a shit playing some more uh, to artifact with you, I guess. <laughs> it's actually desperate to feel pretty good. Which is funny, for, for such a little game that has probably one of the worst servers, servers, um, like up for multiplayer and stuff, for any uh, recent sim game, I don't know if I should say that, if I should say that or not. Well, compared to iRacing or this past weekend, <laughs> which I hope iRacing, if they're smart enough, tries to do something to make to help uh, the servers get more updated or get updated and stuff. Because after what happened this past weekend, a lot of uh, people are, have not really been happy. Which is weird because people one. have been. Not happy about it, but all, there's also people who've been defending iRacing after the whole servers deal. Like it happens every year, and <laughs> it's kind of sad because you look back at the 24 hours in the mod virtual that happened in June to make up for the uh, 24 hours in the mod because of all because of uh, Papa Rona shutting things down. Our factory. You know, it, ha it doesn't like, have as much, uh, oh god, <laughs> I'm running a bit wide. It doesn't have as much, uh, oh, the sun should be coming up here soon. But even though it doesn't have as much of a, they have much of a, uh, people trying to get in uh, in servers at one point, uh, at the same time, it actually kept up pretty well. For a game that was made from 20, for 2014, with servers that are basically crap, compared to iRacing, that uh, I don't even know if they even keep up with their servers. Uh, I'm gonna try to enforce you next time. But. It was kind of just stupid the way iRacing had it there. It was just delay after delay after delay when iRacing had their issues. And this is a thing that happens every single year for for both Daytona and Le Mans on iRacing. And so you think yeah, at this point, they, the instead of making one, content, three, they eight, like point, seven, four. fix their servers. It's making Artifact 2 look good. <laughs> Look not too bad at this point the way it's where it was there this past uh, weekend. But no one I racing, they'll just put more something more for content in to make up for it. They'll probably give us uh, <laughs> they'll probably give us a PT card in, in uh, I racing. It's like we don't want this, we want fixed servers. That's what the fans will be saying, their customers will be saying, basically. As a person who races, I racing a lot. I should turn my uh, headlights off now. Then I said, we should be in five minutes remaining now. Uh, 10 o'clock, and the current time. Yep, five minutes remaining. Hopefully, hopefully it sinks in well. I didn't really sink in well when I forced testing this out. Alright, let's try in fourth gear. Uh, oh shit. Oh, not too shabby, not too shabby. I need to slow it back down a little bit, but it's not bad. <clears throat> getting out, oh god, getting out the corner a little bit more with the best option game. Which I think I said this in my video last year. Uh, for what I did. Was a one forty seven point three four. Thank you. When I did my video for uh, for the Rolex twenty four, uh, after the Rolex twenty four on uh, Crunch Cards two, I think I did, I did mention that I kind of wish someone would make an old school uh, Daytona on like Artifact or some something like that. Like an old, like an old Daytona, like 1970s Daytona, 
before the whole bus stops came and all that. Uh, like 1960s, 1970s uh, Daytona on like Artifact or a set of four star. But I think that'd be something pretty cool be, for that. Because it they says the old, old uh, uh, sports cars pack on this, like mod pack. I think, uh, well, of course, all of them do. But it's like, I was racing those old sports cars to get ready for the Daytona stuff on this, and it's like, it's, it feels so historically inaccurate. It's like, can we get, like, an old Daytona on this, please? I know there's one for NR2003, but I haven't tried it yet. That, I can't get the uh, GTP uh, mod to work on that for some reason. I gotta figure that out. The lap was a 147.53. So now, so there, there we go. So I don't think we're gonna get lapped here anytime soon, but not too. But this is pretty cool. I will say, if I have to, oh god, that's <laughs> a cut the track. Oh god, and run a little wide. I think I'm taking the corner a little too high. I will say, if I have to this video, I'm probably gonna try out Artifact 2 a lot more now. I don't think I've ever completed a full race with this, to be honest. Mm, we might get lapped. I'm not sure. I'm hearing something behind. Say you got the calls. <laughs> Tell them having fun yet? I really want to remain. This should be the last lap coming up to it. That was a one forty eight point three five. So my phone should be going off. Alright, there's a little bit of exit that time. Oh yeah, there's something. I can hear it. Oh god! Oh, there's a little light. Oh yeah, that's GT3 traffic right there, I'm pretty sure. And not the other prototype trees. Yeah, we might get slightly laughed. Well, got it. And I want to come around sideways. That 
That was a 148.82. Was that it or was there one more lap? Am I on my last lap or what? I can't tell. I think that might be the checkers. I can't tell if I was checkers or not. Oh, there's a Mazda. Oh god! <laughs> not paying attention. I was looking at my rear view. Didn't realize how far over I was. Synchronization. Well, there you go, guys. I know it really wasn't much action. Yeah, my setup was just not too well with this. I have to figure some stuff out with the setup on this. As well as maybe the AI uh, strength. Pretty sure the AI was a little too high as well. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's been LP2 cars on Daytona. I might try this again, or try more of this. You see how it goes? I think I might also do a video with with this on French Cars 2, because French Cars 2 does have P2s and. Oh, done. Does have P2s and P3s as well as the whole. GTLM and GTD star. So I might do that as well, I'm not sure. Give a little more of an update video for. Oh god, is sun going down and back down, right? Yes, it is. Ah, the Mazda got it. Okay. Mazda got the lead. I don't know who got the lead, or definitely not. Uh, the other stuff. Okay, what do we got? <laughs> of course, I finished dead last, so I'm pretty sure it's no brainer there. Uh, oh, the Cadillac didn't even get <laughs> for the freaking uh, rest of the DPI cars. That's sad. Damn it. Um, Krasimir Abishi, Abishai got first in the park in LP2. Uh, I guess this person got <laughs> first in LP3 and then I finished seventh. Uh, oh, what the hell? Okay, that's unrealistic. <laughs> uh, Merck got uh, first in uh, GT3 as well as <laughs> GT finished behind. That's unrealistic. Oh, 
Oh, wait. I didn't get last. Yes. There's eight on P3 cards. And one of them did not finish. Nice. Okay. Not too, not too bad. Not too bad. Ugh. Yeah, I really got to do some work with the setups. Oh, God. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you I hope, I hope you did. This, this was kind of boring, I'll admit that. <laughs> um, I, bet, I probably will do something on uh, Project Cards 2 with the same, doing the same thing. <laughs> Maybe it might be a little better to say that. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave me that, leave a like, and subscribe for a see some more. And I will see you all next time. Have a good day.